At the close of the main text of the volume called Pathways Through to Space, I wrote up the story of the journey in a symbolic, poetic form, and it is called The Supreme Adventure. It consists of two parts. The first part is the journey to the attainment of realization, and the second part deals with the descent thereafter. I propose to read this text into the tape so that it may be presented here at this time. At long last the forest lay behind. Before stretched a desert, bleak and empty. Beyond, a mountain, dim in the dancing haze, reaching upward, defeating all measure. I sat resting in the forest shade, the last cool stream at my feet. Deeply I drank refreshment and pondered. Long had the journey been and weary in the maze and the dark of the forest. Oft had I drifted down false lanes. Oft had courage been shaken. Yet I never quite failed to try again. And at last, the dim trails were finished. Behind lay desires vain and incomplete, ambitions inadequate, yearnings now stilled. Before reaching all but endlessly, a dreary waste, trailless and void of sign. It seemed I beheld the goal, dim in the distance, but again it seemed not there. Was uncertain possibility worth the effort? Could anything be worth the cost paid and yet remaining to be paid? Oh, for the rest without ending, if not the rest of victory, then the surcease of defeat. But in any case, rest. Thus I pondered, while a new strength grew, and resolution again was born of the ashes of burned desires and yearnings. Methought, better onward continue, else all this effort uncompleted, useless would lie in the void of vain endeavor. If thought of achievement thrills no longer, yet twere better to complete the half finished. Behind lay values exhausted and lost, no longer potent to rouse the soul that in vision a beyond hath glimpsed. Onward alone lieth hope to fill the void. At last I arose, resolution firm, gathered my staff and compass, sole possessions of the final hour, and strode me forth beyond visible trail. 
Ere long the forest behind me vanished, consumed in refracting desert haze. Then all about the emptiness, a burning waste. On I journeyed in time expanding void, unafraid, but weary with the seeming endlessness. On I journeyed o'er rock and sand and thorn, alone in the stillness that is not peace. On I journeyed thirsting ever more and more for refreshing waters of the forest past recall. Yet on I journeyed as thirst grew numb. The mountain haze consumed as the forest. And time, my tread less resolute became. The void without become likewise a void within, all and ever unavailing. I sank me down upon a rock, caring not, accepting what might be. Then spoke the voice, in accents strong, cheering, comforting, calling from out the beyond, telling of the glory there, recalling the need of forest wanderers. Within me a new courage grew, a new determination. Once more I rose, onward moving, feeling more clear, though not yet seen. The ancient mount of untellable majesty. The desert journey all but finished, now lay behind. Already the slopes, mounting in steeper gradient, Promise of final fulfillment offered. Steeper grew the way, but easier. Strange paradox of a world inverting former values. Oddly I ascend, quickly I ascended, filled with strength, borne downward from beyond. The haze grew dim and vanished. Then before me, immeasurable largeness, buttresses of the ancient mountain, height rising on height beyond all vision, filled anew with cheer and rich assurance. Fast I climbed until at last above me stretched the awful cliff, transcending the final reach of thought. Here I lingered but briefest hour, extracting from thought its inmost core, seeking the power above all powers. Success crowned effort beyond all hope, and as it were in time's briefest instant, Outreaching time and space and cause, I rose to unthinkable heights beyond unthinkable heights, finding at last the ancient home, long forgotten, yet known so well. Gone was the forest world, a new world mine, joy untellable. Knowledge all-consuming, eternity stretching everywhere. Not anywhere ought but I, sustaining all universes, their origin and consummation, darkness of ineffable light enveloping all. This tells of the ascent. 
The meaning of the forest symbol is the wandering in the domain of the sense, senses in outer light, in that which is called the universe of objects, the samsara, or the evolution. The forest carrying the quality of limitation of vision and moving in semi-darkness and the confusion of many objects about one. The desert represents the stage on the path in which one has lost the values of the sensuous or mundane life and has not yet attained the values of the mountaintop. This is the place where great discouragement may come to the pilgrim. The mountain represents the ascension to the transcendent consciousness, to the goal where all of the problems that bothered one in the life of the outer world are at last resolved. It rep there are, is represented here so one experience of the stages of the path. In the beginning, a stage of aspiration, of reaching out beyond. Then the stage of the dreariness of the way and the ultimate ascension to successful attainment. The second part deals with the problems of the descent or the return. We start with the consciousness of the mountaintop in the first words. The text follows. Darkness, silence, voidness, utter. At once, fullness in every sense. Deeps beyond seeing, beyond feeling, beyond thought. At the inmost core of all, I am. Untellable ages, a moment of time. All time, but one moment there. From the inmost core, descending, downward, outward, distances immeasurable, I came, till finding the thought unutterable. Here lingering, I dwelt for a season, thinking, what I could not say. Understanding, transcending, human conceiving. Pure meaning, close packed and awe flowing. Containing of libraries, the substance all, and more, ne'er yet told. Fell to the brim, I descended, down through the haze. Whichever enclosing the world below holds this part, the mountaintop, from the nether world of outer life. Gone was the desert and forest maze, scenes of age old wanderings. The way to heights ineffable, a mystery no more. A new mystery spread below. 
seething multitudes rushing to and fro, or far-reaching plain, bend over, searching the earth, grubbing here and there, ne'er still, driven as slaves, joyless and dull, seeking the gold, finding dross. One here, one there, standing in pause, looking upward, eyes dim with pain, yearning, questioning, searching, not knowing, yet hungering. These aliens all in a foreign land, their home forgotten, yet dimly recalled as the memory of distant dream. I stood upon a lofty field at the edge of thought articulate, pondering the scene below, recalling the days I, too, was there, seeking blindly for I knew not what, remembering effort, misdirected, barren of harvest, all these my brothers are, all these not different from me. I free, yet not wholly free, while these bound remain travailing. Questioning, I pondered their sad estate, wondering how might release for all be won. Then gazing about me on that lofty field, beheld I a glorious company of men, rare, divinely noble, all striving ceaselessly in deep compassion with multitudes far below. From these methought I saw rays of light outreaching and down, Searchlight seeking quickened hearts and minds. Then, peering close, beheld I those who, pausing, raised their eyes in questing, hungering search, each enveloped in searchlight ray. Along these beams a call forth sent, arousing to fuller wakefulness ancient memory. Some, responding, gropingly to seek, began, hunting the dim felt but unseen light, greatly tripping, meandering hither and yon, yet, falteringly, drawing nearer and nearer. Then spoke the voice, well loved, from out an ancient day, another light. Uttering words of counsel sage. Thou wouldst of this harvest share Of souls drawn home to peace and joy. Then seek again the way In yon fields below. None knows the final secret of human soul. So ever we try and try again in every way old memory to rouse. Go forth and try thy way. So again I pondered the trials I knew, the effort wasted, endeavor fruitless, the final success, the key thereto. Methought, tis needless the journey so hard should be. A little turn here, another there, and many a barrier and morass deep, easily surmounted will be. I shall tell of the way which at last I found, that others in a clearer light may see. So I drew a chart, the best I knew, 
And here it is for all, who, wandering in forest and desert drear, wish that a clearer way might reveal it be.